Okay, this video is about the chimes or the tubular bells, another uh, mallet instrument that we didn't get have time to get in uh, into in depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera up here and show you the instrument up close, and then we'll and then I'll step back and play it. So the instrument is arranged the same as every other keyboard instrument, set up like a set up like a piano. Um, we have usually about an octave and a fourth from middle C up to high treble staff F. And you'll notice that the top of each one of the tubes here, you can also see this called, this will either be called chimes or tubular bells. Each one of these has a cap on it. That is the appropriate place to hit the bell. Don't hit the chime anywhere except on the cap. You will crack the chime. All right, so I'll put this here. Now I can demonstrate the instrument. You will typically play the instrument with some sort of hammer. Hammers can come in a variety of different materials. If you need a softer sound, you can cover one side of the hammer with moleskin, as we've done here, um, and then you'll have the hard side for playing louder material. Chimes will usually have a pedal associated with them, which will, you know, depending on your level of maintenance, will either be inoperative or, uh, or will work to dampen the chimes. So you put the pedal down, and then, again, you'll hit strike on the cap, not on the tube. If you need to, you can mute the tubes by hand. And the other technique you may uh, see occasionally referred to as a chime scrape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pair of hard plastic uh, glockenspiel mallets. And the way that you do this is you put the paddle down and you cross your hands and now you're going to scrape. Now you're just going to open your hands up. And now you won't play on the caps for this. You'll play on the top of the tubes. This is a very, very loud, very dramatic effect. I'm just going to do it easy here. Very loud, very, very shrill effect. Uh, gets called for in uh, some orchestral scores, some modern band stuff. Winds up in a lot of movie soundtracks, too. Um, if those mallets are not appropriate, you can use the chime hammers. You'll get a little sort of deeper sound with it. But again, the idea is that you cross your mallets and then uncross them as you scrape both up and down at the same time. And uh, that's pretty much it for the chimes. So again, you can either see this as labeled as chimes or tubular bells.